of the hurricane season, but we still do have some very interesting features to talk about. Let's start you off with a look at the overall basin, and we are now watching Hurricane Isaac as it moves slowly along towards the north. The storm was a very, very strong one at its peak, up to Category 4 intensity, winds of 140 miles an hour. The wind's now down to 105 miles an hour. It is well east of Bermuda and beginning to turn around towards the north and northeast, or recurve, which is what we thought it would do all along. So it's not going to be a threat to any landmass, but it's something to see. A very, very strong hurricane, that's for sure. Right here, we have Tropical Storm Joyce, that is south and east of the Lesser Antilles. Could be a real concern for the Lesser Antilles. We'll have more on that in a moment. And right here is our brand new Tropical Storm. This is Tropical Storm Keith in the Western Caribbean. And this could be a real concern for the Gulf Coast. We start you off with a look at Isaac. The wind's 105 miles an hour. It is down to a Category 2 storm, moving to the north at 18 and the pressure 960 millibars. It is still a very respectable hurricane, still a lot of very deep convection and a very pronounced spiral here. So you can really see that this is a well-formed storm, but not nearly as much of an eye as we once had. And again, well to the east of Bermuda, so it's not going to be a concern for Bermudians. Tropical Storm Bo Joyce, moving to the west at 16, 997 millibars. The wind's 60 miles an hour. That is down about 10 miles an hour as compared to the last advisory. It has been undergoing some shear today. In fact, as you watch in the early part of this visible loop, notice the circulation right there, right in there. That is the low-level circulation, which actually outran the deeper convection. So it's fairly poorly organized at this point, again, because of that shear but we do think that it will slowly continue to strengthen and it's going to be a real concern for folks who live in the Lesser Antilles, the easternmost islands in the Caribbean, we think probably around Monday. It's entirely possible that this thing will get its act together and develop into a strong tropical storm or even a hurricane within the next few days. So we will have to watch it very, very carefully. And here's our brand new tropical storm. This is Keith, winds of 50 miles an hour, moving to the north, northwest at three. Pressure 995 millibars. This is a fairly well-formed storm. You can really see the low-level circulation here, fair amount of deep convection near the center of the system. Most of the models take this thing along towards the north and northwest, perhaps across the Yucatan, but perhaps northward. And so this could be a real concern for those of you who live in the Gulf Coast states, maybe towards the middle of next week. We will have to watch it very carefully, but the models are taking this to hurricane intensity within the next few days. And one of the models specifically takes it just a little west of north and towards Louisiana. So again, we will keep our eyes on it for you. Good morning. Uh, I'm Bob Stokes, and this is Storm Watch. It's an active time in the tropics with an update on the Atlantic Basin in particular and some developments and some news. Let's go to our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons. Well, thanks, Bob. And three systems out in the Atlantic Basin. Let me show you where they are very quickly, and then we'll get to the meat of the th problem. Isaac is moving away, way off to the northeast here, sliding off in the mid latitudes. We have Joyce heading toward the southern and central windward islands out here as a tropical storm and tropical storm keith approaching hurricane strength if it's not already there we'll see the advisory at 11. that's the one that's of most uh, concern right now to the uh, coast of yucatan and also the united states of course we have some nasty weather up in here not showing any signs of tropical development but a, ma a marine problem here's the latest of tropical storm keith winds 70 miles per hour so it's perched just below hurricane intensity and i think it's already gone beyond that uh, threshold already, drifting to the west-northwest, and we'll see that motion in just a second. 985 millibar pressure. And now you can see we've been seeing a, an eye trying to form there all day. That's the circulation center right inside that circle as it moves very close to the uh, Belize, uh, Yucatan border there off to the west, west-northwest, and it looks like the speed of motion right now has been, at least for the last few hours, about five or six miles per hour. Now, the biggest problem here is not going to be the wind, which, by the way, is strongest on the north side. The south side, the winds are fairly weak. So it's going to be the north side of the center that the wind is a problem. But the biggest problem is going to be the heavy rain. It's not moving fast, and we're going to have some significant flooding potential there. So be very careful if you're in a low-lying area. You may uh, plan to leave before it gets too uh, heavy rainfall-wise. And the Cayman Islands and also portions of Jamaica are also going to get some of that rain as it passes, passes over the Yucatan. 
Now you can see the very well-defined outflow off to the south and southwest into the southern hemisphere, and that's what's causing teeth to intensify through time. We're going to continue to monitor this carefully because it's going to eventually go into the Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane warnings are up from Cabo Catoche down to Chetamal and uh, then a hurricane watch to Belize City. There's also a tropical storm warning in the same yellow area that I circled right there. And as I mentioned before, it looks like uh, we just got a ship observation right up in here about 35 miles per hour and it's out of the east. So up in this area, it currently does not look like we're gonna see winds above hurricane force, but we'll have to wait and see. You can see in the Gulf of Mexico, it's gonna continue to move across the Yucatan Peninsula into the Gulf. So people in the Gulf of Mexico should be monitoring the progress of this system. Well, I'll tell you more about the other hurricanes next time. Let's get back to Bob in the studio. Okay, Dr. Steve Lyon. We have our seventh hurricane of the season in the Atlantic Basin, Hurricane Keith. And for more on Hurricane Keith and where he's headed, let's turn over to our tropical expert, Dr. Steve Lyons. Well, thanks, Kelly, and Keith isn't heading anywhere right now. It's almost stationary, just off the coast of Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula. We expect it to take a track more toward the northwest later today and uh, t through tomorrow. There's Keith there. You can see it just off the coast of the Yucatan. We also have Isaac. It's moving off to the northeast quickly. It's captured by the mid-latitudes and will not come back. And Joyce, Tropical Storm Joyce, is looking rather sick right now, which is great news for the southern islands. I'll show you that in just one second. Let's go first to Key, since it's closest to home. As of 11 a.m., you can see it was only 118 miles east-southeast of Chetamal, Mexico. Winds up to 80 miles per hour, and the, the upper-level environment continues to look very favorable for continued development, moving or drifting very slowly to the northwest. And in the last couple satellite images, it looks like it's almost stationary, so it's moving very, very slowly, and that means a lot of rain. That's the big problem with this system right now, as long as it stays a Category 1. There's a center right there. Still a rather ragged eye, but trying to get its act together a little bit more. Strongest winds are in the north sector, but look at all of this moisture around here. And when the systems move slow like that, the biggest problem is going to be very heavy rain. We expect it to take a track on up the coast like this and cut across the Yucatan Peninsula and come out into the Gulf of Mexico. But out in this time frame, we're only looking at about three days away, so it's going to take a long time to cross the peninsula. And that means a lot of heavy rain. Remember, the amount of rain that falls is not related to the intensity but how fast it moves. The upper level environment you can see there's a high pressure over the top of it here with wonderful outflow to the south so that's why we're seeing the development as well as it's doing right now and also outflow off to the northeast. In contrast down here where we have Joyce you can see we basically have flow out of the west right over the top of it which is unfavorable for development and that's very good news for the southern islands. Keep in mind that rainfall is the biggest threat right now for Keith and you can see that the slower the circulation moves, for example, if it moves 10 miles an hour on the order of 10 inches, 5 miles an hour, 20 inches. So it could be very devastating rainfall. Be very careful about uh, where you are relative to Keith over the next several days. Hurricane warnings are up and watches are up. You can see them right there, basically from Belize on up to Cabo de Catoche and then on over to Progreso, Mexico for the watches. And uh, the one thing to keep in mind, it's still way down to the south here. Those of you in the Gulf of Mexico, there's nothing to worry about yet, but monitoring the situation is a very prudent thing to do, I would say, right now. Tropical Storm Joyce, you can see it out here. Winds are now down to 40 miles per hour, which is very good news. It's sped up. It's moving west at 18 miles per hour. Pressure's gone way up at about 1,005 millibars. What we see right now is almost an exposed, weakening vortex here, sliding off to the west-northwest. Now, just because it's a weak vortex now and may move through the islands as a weak storm, that does not mean it can't reintensify once it gets into the Caribbean. We do have Tropical Storm watches and warning up. There you see them there, and it looks like right now the best guess of where it's going to go based on the, wa the uh, warnings is Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada area. But keep in mind, it could slide a little bit north of that. So uh, you need to be prepared for some gusty winds. We also have Hurricane Isaac out there way to the north. Winds 85 miles per hour and moving northeast at 24. Now you see it sliding away from land. So we're in great shape with that one. And all we have in the eastern Pacific is a few showers. So let's get back to the studio now. Thank you very much, Steve. And we